Hello beautiful butterflies, welcome back. Today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I do a clay wash for my hair using the recipe from Green Beauty. So here I am putting a cup of distilled water into a little measuring cup. I have a bowl there that I'm going to put all my ingredients. I'm now doing one third cup of the Aztec Indian Healing Clay, AKA Bentonite Clay, which is an amazing uh, cleanser for the hair. I haven't done a clay wash for my hair in a while, and I figured I would get that on camera. This is Rasul Clay. I was down to my last bit of Rasul Clay, and I'm using a half cup, I believe. Yes, a half a cup of Rasul Clay. And just a heads up, it can get messy, so make sure you have an area like the floor, not carpet. Here's my kaolin clay. And for the kaolin clay, I'm going to be using one fourth cup of kaolin clay that I'm going to be adding to the mixture in a bowl. And I like this recipe from Green Beauty because she is able to help you to get the benefits from all three different types of clay the kaolin the rasul which has the most moisturizing i feel and then the bentonite which is great so i have a bowl here i mixed all the ingredients together and guys when it comes to this it depends on your preference if you want something a bit more liquidy then i would suggest putting a little bit more distilled water it can get a little bit clumpy so those were starting measurements that I gave you guys, but I added a little bit more distilled water and I let it soak for a little bit so that the, it can get into the clay. And as you see here, I have a bottle which can make it easier to apply to your hair and a little funnel. But as you're going to see, it still was a bit thick. Um, I could have probably used a wider funnel, but this is going to get really messy <laughs> really fast so i got maybe about like half of the cup full with some clay and then the rest i basically kept in a bowl that i would just use my hands to apply it as you're going to see right now so my hair was put in four twist and as you can see i apply it to my scalp and you can feel the little bit of clumps. This wasn't the smoothest. This wasn't the smoothest um, consistency that I'm usually used to. But I tell you, one of the amazing things about clay when I first put it on my hair is how much it stretches my hair. And it really resets my curls. Like, I love that about clay. And... I'm not even sure what tribes in Africa I have seen before, like with the red clay, seeing women who wear their hair in many different styles, just with the clay that they put in their hair. And that's what I think of when I apply it, because like I said, it stretches my hair so much as you're going to see. It takes a lot of that shrinkage. So clay, again, is really good to detoxify the scalp. It's a great uh, cleanser and alternative to shampoo. It's something that I use personally at least once a month to cleanse my hair in addition to using things like uh, purple shampoo. So like I told you guys, you see how long my hair gets when I use the bentonite clay and it just stretches it out. You can, when you're applying this, look at that. <laughs> And it just stays straight. That's why I had said in another video, if I could find an edge control that made my edges obey, even though you could see that cute little curl, you see already what the clay does for the hair and I didn't even rinse it out. So that's something that you can keep in mind. It may You may find a little looseness in the texture of your hair after using clay. So if your hair is not as tight as mine, that may be something to consider if you find your hair a little bit looser. So basically, I'm going to be finished applying this all over my hair in section after section. And you see what I'm able to do? Put it in a little, I guess, bantu knot or ponytail. And I apply it. I tried it with the bottle so that I could get to my roots easier, especially towards the back. 
but then I wind up going back to the bowl with just my hands to really make sure I saturate it and again guys the measurements to this recipe and putting the clay in your hair be careful it gets messy it is not an exact science um, I feel like the measurements that Green Beauty gave were a great starting point if your hair is shorter you may need less if your hair is longer and her hair is pretty long you may need more depending on how heavy-handed you are when you put this in might affect how much you might need to redo because I found when I did this particular clay on my hair I put quite a bit on that first one and I was just like kind of running out towards the end so I stretched it as much as I could but you're gonna see soon the results of the clay in my hair so I'll see you guys when I'm done applying the clay in my hair and for any of you who have any questions let me know in the comments if you have used clay before have you used all three have you used one which one is your favorite let me know and also your questions that you have concerning um, using clay to cleanse your hair so that I can answer those questions on a next live or video So this is what my hair looks like all rinsed out using my favorite leave-in conditioner from Kinky Curly and I apply that in my hair and then you're gonna see me apply my curls and potions fermented rice water in my scalp it feels so amazing and then I use my handy dandy scalp comb to massage my hair for about a minute or two <laughs> before I apply my styler. Now you guys are gonna see my winning combination stylers that I use to get a bomb wash and go. And here's my favorite, Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. I apply that to my hair first because it helps, I don't know, it, it helps prepare my hair for the gel. It stretches it out a little bit, gives it some more moisture. And here's my favorite styler, on Jackie's Curl Boss. Now, if you guys saw a previous video of mine when I put uh, on Jackie's Ice Curls, I didn't have the same result as here. You see my face, I'm so excited because one of the things I love about this gel, Curl Boss from On Jackie's, is the slip that this gel gives my hair. I really appreciate that. When you have coily hair, tight coily hair at that, um, slip is a very important factor for me in me choosing a gel or not. I also love the slip of Eco Styler Gel, the olive oil, but this one is, I can't describe it, like, I love it. And here's something that's so ironic, I'm not a fan of coconut oil in my hair unless it is a pre-poo, but yet when I use this Curl Boss in my hair, that has coconut oil in it, my hair loves it. It gives my hair just the amount of hang 
that I need and yet at the same time as you'll see in some pictures afterwards it gives me great definition too. Now I will say compared to Eco Style or Olive Oil it doesn't hold as long or it doesn't hold the pattern as long. I get a bit more volume as this wash and go gets older whereas with the Eco Styler it keeps the definition pretty for a long time. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. What is your favorite styler that you love to use for your hair? What's the favorite way that you like to style it? But as you can see, this is why I love me a wash and go. I still have mine about a week later and I just, it's so easy. So I'm just shaking here after I apply the gel to separate the curls and bring out that definition more. But as you can see, like I'm so excited at the results. And this is before it dries. So you're going to see some pictures afterwards. But I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.